Hello everyone, this is Leila here and I am doing Pika. I already did chain stitch. I already made a few of these half double crochet and now I just will simply do the Pika. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five chain stitches and simply will continue with half double crochet. And I'll do one more just for full effect. And yeah, maybe one more. See? This is our beautiful pika. Those are good for buttonholes, those are good for fringes, edges, all kind of things you can do with them. And let me do a few more. See? One, two, three, four, five. By the way, this is either will be specified in the scheme or um, you can choose how many chain stitches you want to do. It depends how big you want to have your pika, okay? And I simply will continue with my half double crochet. Oops, sorry. Ouch. It's stuck here. Okay, and another one. See? This is beautiful. Okay, I'll do another one. One, two, three, four, five chain stitches. I'm doing simply five all of them because on all of them because I want to keep the similar look okay and simply will continue with my half double crochet stitch and that's the last one and here we go See, this is our pika. See how big it is, the opening here. Um, I just would like you to pay attention because in the second um, type of pika, when I will show you, um, opening is a little different. So, that's how it looks from front. And this is how it looks from back. Okay, we did open pika and diagram for that would be this. If we would have do the close pika, which is my next video, um, see, note the difference and the diagram, we have this little tiny teeny dot here. I'll go over this later. Now our um, sign for open pika is this. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed your picos. They are such a darling little stitches um, to work with. And thanks for listening.